Just a short time ago, the prosecution rested in the case of a teenage squeegee worker accused of killing a driver downtown last year. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren reports from the Mitchell Courthouse where jurors heard from their final witnesses. Defense attorneys filed a motion for acquittal after the prosecution rested. The judge, though, said she feels there's enough evidence for this to go to the jury. She told them to expect closing arguments on Monday. Jurors saw the gun the prosecutor says was used to kill Timothy Reynolds. Two of the five bullets that struck him were hollow point, which means they expanded in his body to create larger wounds, according to the state's expert testimony. Reynolds was struck in the face, chest, and three times in the back during the encounter with squeegee workers near the Inner Harbor last July. The defense says their client acted in self-defense, citing this video showing Reynolds following squeegee workers with a baseball bat. The alleged shooter was 14 at the time, and WJZ is not naming him because of his age. Lead detective John Amato testified the defendant left to retrieve a handgun, concealed his face with a mask, and re-engaged, which is why we have determined this was a murder and not self-defense. You can see the victim walking away. You can see the defendant stepping away and pulling down that mask. You can see the perpetrator and his accomplices following the victim as he's leaving, surrounding him and shooting him five times, three times in the back. They've got to uh, convince the jury beyond a reasonable doubt that one, this boy is a shooter, and secondly, that uh, he did not act in defense of himself or others. Defense attorney Warren Brown questioned the thoroughness of the police investigation, why they only made a single attempt to get video from several nearby businesses and failed to look into Reynolds' past interactions with squeegee workers. Amato testified police were short-staffed and he wanted to devote precious resources to finding the shooter. The court is taking tomorrow off. One juror said she had a trip scheduled for Tuesday, but the judge said deliberations will take as long as they need to. Reporting from the Mitchell Courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ.